When developing Python programs, it's much easier if you're using an IDE rather than like a text editor. And an IDE that I recommend is called PyCharm. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, and PyCharm is one of the most popular ones. You can download PyCharm from jetbrains.com slash PyCharm. Features include it having a free community version that you can download, which is open source, which means that there's a large community of developers that contribute to making PyCharm better over time. It also has intelligent coding assist, code completion, error highlighting, and quick fixes. So it definitely makes programming in Python much easier. And let's download it right now, check it out, and also run a Hello World program to see what it looks like. All right, so in Google, I'm just going to type PyCharm. And there it is. Comes up right away. Let's click on it. There's their website. And you just got to click download. All right, so depending on whether you're using Windows or Mac, it should take you to the correct tab. Or if you're using Linux as well. And you, what you we want is the free community edition. So just click on download. It's going to download it. You could also subscribe and get a bunch of crap in your inbox if you want, which I don't recommend. But all right, a few more seconds to go, and then we'll be installing PyCharm. Here we go. All right, it's opening up. There it is. So once you've installed it on Mac, you could just drag it to your applications. And all right, so now let's just start it up. So I'll go to my applications. There's PyCharm. There it is. Double click on it. Open it up. Agree to their user agreement. Probably don't want to share data. All right, here we go. There it is. But we're just going to dive right into it. Let's click on new project. All right, let's, I'm going to leave everything default. Let's just click create and let's just get started. All right, so there it's loading up. Gives you some tips of the day. Close that. You can say I got it here to close that little box. All right, so it actually even already has a little program already there that just prints out. Um, let's see what it does. Prints out hi PyCharm. All right, so to create a new Python file, let's cl click on the Python project, right click it, and select new file. Let's name it hello world.py for Python. It's going to add it right there in the same location where the main.py file was and let's just type in there print single quote hello world exclamation mark and all we should have to do is just click run actually that didn't work it ran the last previous program so to make sure we're running this file only and not the last program that was ran right click on hello world.py and select run hello world and here you go, there is the output to your Hello World Python program. And that is a quick demo of how to use PyCharm and run a quick Hello World program. Thanks for watching.